Life is not easy for any of us, but what of that? We must have perseverance and above all, confidence in ourselves. We must believe that we are gifted for something and that this thing must be attained. Nothing in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. Now is the time to understand more so that we may fear less. I am among those who think that science has great beauty. A scientist in his laboratory is not only a technician, he is also a child placed before natural phenomena which impress him like a fairy tale. We must believe in ourselves, or no one else will believe in us. You cannot hope to build a better world without improving the individuals. To that end, each of us must work for his own improvement, and at the same time, share a general responsibility for all humanity. Life is too short to be anything but happy. I never see what has been done. I only see what remains to be done. There are sadistic scientists who hurry to hunt down errors instead of establishing the truth. One never notices what has been done. One can only see what remains to be done. A scientist in his laboratory is not a mere technician. He is also a child confronting natural phenomena that impress him as though they were fairy tales. Be less curious about people and more curious about ideas. You cannot hope to accomplish on your own what you can accomplish as part of a team. I was taught that the way of progress was neither swift nor easy. Have no fear of perfection. You'll never reach it. I am one of those who think like Nobel, that humanity will draw more good than evil from new discoveries. All my life through, the new sights of nature made me rejoice like a child. You must be resolutely determined to realize your wish in the way you choose to give it form. I am among those who think that science has great beauty. In science, we must be interested in things, not in persons. The way of progress is neither swift nor easy. Science is not everything, but science is very beautiful. I have no dress except the one I wear every day. If you are going to be kind enough to give me one, please let it be practical and dark so that I can put it on afterwards to go to the laboratory. The older one gets, the more one feels that the present must be enjoyed. It is a precious gift, comparable to a state of grace. I am glad that I have not let difficulties deter me from my duty. I have frequently been questioned, especially by women, of how I could reconcile family life with a scientific career. Well, it has not been easy. You cannot isolate yourself from the crowd. You cannot fall back upon beauty, excursions, books, sensibilities. You must just face the call of duty. We must not forget that when radium was discovered, no one knew that it would prove useful in hospitals. The work was one of pure science. It is important to make a dream of life and of a dream reality. Each of us must work for his own improvement and at the same time share a general responsibility for all humanity. The greatest problem today is not how to produce more, but rather how to distribute it fairly. Life is an adventure, it's not a package tour. Now I am exposed to the view of a whole room full of people, none of whom I am certain has a right to look at me. The way of life can be free and beautiful, but we have lost the way. I have received many letters from human beings who do not agree with the way of life I have chosen. Young women, you do not have to be a perfect person, but continue to strive for excellence. Keep educating yourself and working towards your goals. First principles should not be violated, even when faced with complex problems or difficult situations. All of my life, I have been looking for laws. Laws of nature, laws of physics, laws of chemistry, laws of mathematics. I have not found them. I have only discovered a few generalizations. Humanity also needs dreamers, for whom the disinterested development of an enterprise is so captivating that it becomes impossible for them to devote their care to their own material profit. I am decidedly amazed when I see the gigantic strides taken in recent times in the field of electrical forces and of the wireless. My curious mind has led me to many places. It has opened up the world to me. I believe that in the course of time, when our needs are sufficiently great, the radiations we may obtain will show a vast increase in power. 
I was taught that the way of progress was neither swift nor easy. You cannot control the events that happen to you, but you can control your attitude toward them. I cannot allow myself to believe that there exists a future in which everything will be perfectly resolved and adjusted. The way of progress is neither swift nor easy. The work is one of pure science. I have always been interested in the way that the laws of nature can be discovered and formulated. The older one gets, the more one feels that the present must be enjoyed. It is a precious gift, comparable to a state of grace. One must respect oneself, and one must respect others. If that is done, the work is not difficult. The older one gets, the more one feels that the present must be enjoyed. It is a precious gift, comparable to a state of grace. The present is not to be feared, we must trust and use it.